Also happening today, something we've been waiting for for quite some time, but I'm not going to tell you about it. I'm going to send it over to Jabari Thomas so he can break this very special news. Jabari, good morning. Hey, good morning, Rob. Thank you very much. Good morning, beautiful people. Jabari here. It is finally here. Today, Bush Gardens pass holders get to take a ride on Tigris. And tomorrow, Florida's tallest launch coaster will officially open to the public. But you know, all of this hype got us thinking. Who came up with the idea to launch as high in the sky in a bucket with wills on it? So <laughs> we're blasting beyond the headline this morning and looking at the ghosts of coasters past. Roller coasters seem as American as cheeseburgers and red, white, and blue. But like a lot of things in our melting pot, the original coaster isn't American. Bundle up, because we're traveling to St. Petersburg, Russia in the mid 1600s. We're going there to meet the roller coaster's ancient ancestor, the Russian mountains. So check this out. Riders would get on sleds made out of ice blocks and zoom down wooden slides packed with snow and ice. The rides were so popular, Her Majesty Catherine the Great had one commissioned for her palace. Fast forward to Pennsylvania in 1873 when the first roller coaster was invented. Although it really wasn't a coaster at all, but a repurposed coal mining train. Talk about thrifty, right? The first roller coaster built from the ground up was the Gravity Switchback Railway, which opened in 1884 at America's classic Coney Island. And you can thank the father of roller coasters, LaMarcus Thompson, who designed and built the entire thing. My guess, he was definitely a thrill seeker, wouldn't you say? <laughs> yeah. And later today, Brightside Sean Stryker is trying out the ride for the first time for all of us here, and we'll let you know how that goes. Yeah, so stay with us.